Welcome back to this tutorial video on getting started with CodePen. As you can see, that's up in the browser right now, CodePen.io. So I've already come to this site. And if you watched the previous video, you saw how we signed up for CodePen. And you can even see that if you look on the upper right hand corner that I am logged into CodePen right now. It shows my picture. I changed that in my profile. Uh, you're free to do that if you like. You don't have to. So CodePen calls each of the web pages that you work on. They call them pens. And in order to get started, you're going to want to create a new pen. So after you're logged in and you see your picture, you can move just a little to the left to the button called New Pen. And that highlights there as my cursor is over it. If I click on that, then CodePen is going to bring up a editor tool window to allow me to begin working on my first web page. And the way CodePen works is it divides the different code that people use in web development into three windows. Your HTML is on the left in the window that says HTML. The middle window says CSS and this is the this is the code you use for styling your web page. Uh, we're not going to need that right now. And in this tutorial, we're also not going to work in the JavaScript window, which is just labeled JS. So since we're not going to be working in these two right hand windows, I am going to click the arrow button in the upper left hand corner of each of those windows. And I get some options here. I'm going to say minimize the CSS editor. So see how it's nice and out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing for the JavaScript editor. So now that's out of the way. And I'm going to come down here and uh, let my cursor change so that I can click and drag this white space up. And if I type anything into the HTML window, you're going to see that uh, it shows me what the web page would look like if this was the code for the HTML. It shows you that in the lower window. So you get this really great responsive feedback here. As you work in your code windows, the results just come alive in the bottom window that represents a web browser. Now since I'm only working in one window, I kind of would like to change the view of how this looks. I want to put the code on the left and the browser on the right. You can do anything you like, but let me show you that if you go to the upper right hand corner to this button that says change view, you click change view and you'll be shown graphically some different layout options for this tool editor, CodePen. And currently it's showing me tools on top, browser on the bottom. I'm going to switch it so that it's left and right. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to show you how it's done. It's with the change view button. And then what I can do is I can click uh, right here on this middle gray bar and I can say I want it to be just about 50 50. So now I've got tons of great space for me to get to work on my HTML markup and see the uh, of the web page on the right hand side. Now this particular uh, video is not going to be a replacement for learning uh, the different elements and tags that go into web development. So you can see that I've made a header by surrounding the text all about movies with the H1 opening tag and the H1 closing tag. And what I'm going to say here is I want to show a list of my favorite movies. And then let me go ahead and start listing them. That's a, that's a good list there. Uh, in order to make it look like a list, I'm going to use the list element. I'm sorry, that's UL for an unordered list. And I'm going to tell the web browser that I'm working on an unordered list. And this shows you exactly what's going to be in a web browser as you're working. So uh, the HTML, you can work in the HTML window on the left and the results show up in the browser on the right. Um, so you can see CodePen is a great tool for you to just get started working right away. You get to see results on the right as you're working on the left. Let me show you two more things. You can name your uh, pen um, by clicking on that picture of a pencil and then the cursor moves up there and lets you uh, say what you want to call this pen. This can be whatever you want. I'm going to say it's my first web page and then in order to save this so that you can come back to it at any time later, even if you close this browser or turn off your computer, you can log back into CodePen on this computer or any other computer and come back to this pen. So now that I've saved it, so hopefully this video will help you get jump started with CodePen. 
and uh, allow you to use this tool to begin working on your first web page. If you like this video, uh, please go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more videos about this, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.